Hey everybody and welcome to my time at Sandrock, a new farming sim, life sim, sort of uh, exploration game that's coming out from Panthea Games and Focus Entertainment. It's already out in full release at the time of seeing this. I'm a little late to getting this, but I did receive a code from Focus Home Entertainment and their PR team to cover this one. Uh, I played Pathia a lot. I loved the first time. Or Portia? Not, yeah, Pathia is the name of the studio. <laughs> I played Portia a lot. And obviously I wanted to play Sandrock, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play some Sandrock together and dive into a new game here. So uh, yeah, I mean, the game is out now. It's $39.99. Like I said, Focus Home Entertainment sent over a review copy for me to check this one out. Um, so yeah, thanks to them for that. I really like uh, covering these kinds of games. I love the relaxation sims, basically, is what I like to call them. So, right, name Saren. My name is not Max. Let's do number one. Right, next. Oh my goodness. Alright, skin. I like that one. Face shape. I like that one. Make it a bit more round. Chin position. Okay. Hair. I don't really want bangs. I want like a. Yeah, I mean, I, I like that. So we'll, we'll do that. I can change the color. Let's go like completely black. Confirm. Eyebrows. Do some thick eyebrows. Eyes. Highlight color. Yeah, we're gonna go that way. Confirm. Ears. Nose. I don't want a huge nose. I don't want a huge sniffer, you know? So we're gonna go do that. No facial hair, no face, none of that. We're gonna go pretty vanilla with that. Choose your birthday. Summer 18. Yes. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Hi there, you must be the new builder. I'm Ian, the other new builder. I just got here a week ago. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet ya. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. This way. Welcome to Sandrock Mission Start. Okay. 
Head to the Commerce Guild. Over Commerce Guild's right here. There, I'm Yan, president of the Sand Rock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada yada yada. I'll be overseeing you with Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as um a buddy. That's your uh, uh supervisor. Okay, weirdo. This here's Mason. He's retiring, and you know the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway. See that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. Uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Um... Well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is yours now. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of heart. I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the Blue Moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my Yakmel milk on. Well, he always was a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's, uh, frowned upon, anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your... When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you there. <laughs> True, it is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. Hey! Let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for ya. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. It's a straight shot. If I got lost on that straight shot, I'd probably be kicked out of this place, so okay. Slim pickings, but at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um, see. The reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that. But I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Woo. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. <laughs> All right, mission start, the new builder. She completed the sand rock mission. There's thick rope, let's get that. Dilapidated furnace. Stone axe. Swords. You can use an axe to break down wooden scrap as well as plant resorts like bushes and cactus. Uh. 
Coco the Owl. Right, so we need two wood and four stone. We got one stone and two wood from, or three wood from that. So we gotta find another, uh, there's another junk pile down here. It looks like it's more stone than wood. So let's go over here and grab that. There we go, five out of four. Let's go make a pick hammer. Pick hammer, quick build. The color represents the quality of the item. Higher quality items have better buffs and effects. Check your inventory. Now you can use the pick hammer to break down and recycle the junk in your yard as well as scrap scattered throughout the desert. So we got a stone trough, dregs, wood, and stone scrap. Let's go talk to Yan. I have myself a nice pick hammer. It's exactly what he wanted me to do, so let's go back and see what he wants next. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you could put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the control panel at the assembly station. Eh, don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. I'm back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now. Okay. So we need a assembly station, or we need to go to the assembly station to make a recycler. Which means we need two stone troughs, three wood, and two grinding saws. That's pretty cool. Train! getting much from this wooden scrap learned about cast whiskers no there's gravel right there let's use our pick hammer to get that dew Dinas, and stone we need stone troughs and grinding saws. Come on. Give me. Thank you. Hey, level up. Oh. 
A ball cactus. And a cactus tree. Hi there, friend. I couldn't help but notice you're doing something illegal. Oh, no. You're not allowed to cut down trees near the town. Oh, cutting down trees around town can have some seriously negative effects on our environment. Seeing as this is your first offense, I'll let it slide. But if I catch you out here chopping down public trees again, well, I'll have no choice but to fine you to the full extent Sandrock nuisance tree law allows for. Worse than that, though. Why, if I saw you chopping down trees, I, I don't know if I would want to be your friend anymore. I'm sure a lot of people around town would feel the same way. But don't you worry. You can find wood scrap out in the desert, buy imported wood from me, even plant your own trees on your own property. See, plenty of ways. So you really have no need to chop these trees down. That's For collection. all, Builder. Conserve water and don't chop down these trees. For collection, I do. This is your assembly session handbook to keep track of all the larger machines you can make. Right now, you can only make a recycler. So we need grinding saws and another stone trough. I need some more Dinas to make one more grinding saw. I think gravel has the Dinas. Is that what we figured out? Yep, it does. Okay. Come on. Give me. Give me my na na na. Give me my Dina na. <laughs> We need one more grinding saw. Hooray, we have a recycler. Quality perfect. Oh, we shouldn't have. Select a machine from your quick bar to place it directly in your home. We're good for the environment. We made a recycler. I think that's a good point to wrap up. So let's go and wrap up here for this first episode of my time at Sand Rock. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, favorite, turn on notification. And I'll see you next time for more here on San Santiago. Thanks for watching.